Hello everyone! Once again, this is Grand Gear Wars for today, and we are back in Xenogears, where Sitin is telling us that, judging by the angle, it seems as if a gun blast has made a hole in the hull. If you, if you remember, they were attacked by pirates of some kind. So yeah, they're in a bit of a pinch there now. Let's see how they handle that. We will probably think within minutes. A few minutes. Duck! It is locked. Somebody free us! Arrgh! Yeah, he's becoming a pirate too. Oh boy, all that sand. Let's get out of here, Doc. Let's just go. I wonder if you can go. There is a switch for the sand barrier door on the right hand side. Okay, one. Well, be careful once it's. Closed, it cannot be opened again. Okay, I should just go down and see if there's something else I can get. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just running around. I don't think I ever explore this area because I'm always like too stressed to really. Okay, oh, I should. Man, I should have gotten the chest. Maybe I can get it by coming back down. Uh, oh boy, that's a lot of... That's a lot of guys. I can probably kill them all. No? Oh yeah, I can kill them. Oh, I have a new one. I think Senretsu is a new one. What I love about Xenogears, like, combat system... Oh boy. Ooh. Um, is that most of the attacks um, feel pretty heavy like you can f especially the special ones like the oh man so much so many enemies um, but like the physical attacks you can kind of see the weight of the strikes I, and especially look at the special attacks with the, the little effects in the screen flashes and stuff I think you did a pretty good job on this Almost down there. Only two enemies remaining. Yeah. Oh, they'll. Oh, no big. Man, Sitin is just the fastest character. Well, uh, he's not the fastest character you can play with, but he's a pretty, he's pretty damn fast. And he's only like he's like more powerful than me. He has double the HP and he's like three level under me. So. Make of that what you will. I'll say it's pretty OP. Leather vests. I can. Oops. Can probably not go there anymore. Can I? I, I can. Oh no, crap. The chest is attacking me. It's a mimic. Probably not. Probably just like grunts. Just die, people. You don't stand a chance. Don't even try. Let's try raging once again. Bam. I mean, it's sufficient to kill them, and as you, that's something I wanted you to see. If I don't use all my action points, I can store them in ooh, in like a smaller um, chunk of the. You see, there is a bar under my thumb bar. There's like an AP AP gauge. Um, I should I should heal Fay, and this is like going up. So for example, if I do like this, if I do raging, it's going to cost me three points. I have one left. You will see that the the, the gauge will go up by one. Um, and what basically, you know, what I'm just going to turn down the sound a, a little bit if I if I just can. If I can, I I don't think if I can. Yeah, maybe that's a little better. Um, but yeah, I can. Sorry about that. Uh, you you can actually get, get more and more points in that gauge, and then you can spend them all at once on special attacks, and you can do some pretty powerful things with that. Uh, I don't know if I can just. Can I go down or am I like stuck here? Oh no, I'm not stuck. Yes. Well, maybe I am actually. 
How do I how do we escape this? Uh oh. Did did I manage to stuck myself into a death trap of some of some kind? Because I don't see any way of getting back up there. Or maybe this? Oh yeah, I can. Oh boy. Okay, so I can eh, get back up there. Now I need to jump over the the holes. Oh man, that's actually the longest I've stayed. I, I've stayed in there. Uh, oh no, crapper! I mean, oh, I, I need to turn back the camera. Whew. That's more stressful than I than I remembered it to be. Okay. Okay, let's be careful about this. This is last hole there. Man. That's like pretty new to me. Whew, that was close. Yep, that, that was close. A little bit too close for comfort actually. And actually I should save because I don't want I don't want to lose my progress. Um But yeah, you see the things are becoming pretty pretty intense now. I mean the the pace was cool at the the beginning the first like three episodes were okay -ish. I mean it was not 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 much happening um, but now things are picking up a little bit uh, and, and you can kind of begin to see why I love this game uh, I just love the the progression uh, like you, you you are caught up in in well the the, the plot points are they do the, the classic like foreshadowing uh, of of big plot points, um, like well you can understand that Satan, you know that Satan knows things like that's pretty obvious from from the from right right at the beginning, um, but there's there's more to it than that and and even though some of it you kind of see coming from all the revelations they do uh, over the course of the game it never seems like suddenly here's a king of the kingdom and you know like so many RPGs are you go from your town to basically meet the king of the country like right away that's that's usually what what happens um, and here it goes a little bit more slowly or I, th I, th I mean I always felt that it was a little bit more natural than that but then again um, it's been a while since I completed the game oh man stop stop shooting me uh oh man this this one survived that's why it's usually safer to do like small attacks they do a little bit less damage but you get more chance of hitting the, the guy but that's okay we only we're only left with the little grunts Bam! Are you dead yet? Yeah, you're dead. Oh, yeah. This guy is like parrying bullets with his hands. I don't know how he does it, but apparently he's, he's good enough to do that. Okay, let's kill this guy, and we're done. So it's probably going to be a more combat-heavy. I'm guessing this this will like alternate but yeah even then maybe there won't be that much doc where did you go doc Faye can you hear me I am moving the crane towards Weltall's cockpit hurry go up the crane to Weltall we are going under fast I got you doc but when you're done you hurry up there too okay and I might be screaming a little bit on my microphone, but the music seems kind of loud today. I don't know what I changed. So, let's not fall down here. Oops. I know I sh I need to hurry, but then... I don't... Who put these, these like, obstacles? Oh, well told, you're looking tight. 
Oh no, crap. Whew. Well, at least you don't fall completely. Okay, I'm at the top of the crane. And as if this was Mirror's Edge. Ooh, well, not really Mirror's Edge. She would just have jumped. But, I mean, that's okay. Here we go again. You and I seem to have a faded relationship. That you seem to have indeed. And here comes the gear. What up, Doc? Come on, Doc. Over here. Hurry up. we go Ooh -hoo. Ooh, probably safe from the uh, pirates now are we Ooh. man it must have not been comfortable oops are you okay doc <laughs> Well, Dr. Sizenuzuki, feels like you have sacked your suckles and tickled your articles enough for one lifetime. Whoa, dizzy. I, I, I forgot I used a more gravelly voice. Sorry about that, Doc. I didn't have time to open up the cockpit. Are you really okay, Doc? Faye, I was only joking. Riding in the end was not so bad. I can see what is so good about this top secret experimental kiss love machine. Yeah, when I started it up, it began doing all kind of stuff by itself. The environmental response system and weight reduction overing kicked in straight away, automatically. Man, he doesn't... he sure knows a lot now. Really? Amazing. Save yourself, but leave your friends to sink in a sea of sand. Don't you believe in comradeship? Huh? Hmm? Oh, you better know who it is. Oh boy. It's not very manly of you two to leave your platoon to die while you run away in the gear, you know. <laughs> like, wait for it. Combat. Wait on mo one moment, we're not have a soldiers. Hmm, can you make a better plea for your life? You come jumping out of a navy ship and claim that you are not have a soldiers. Stop trying to fool me. I tell you, it's true. Tss, how pathetic are you? Even if you're the pettiest of soldiers, how about showing a, li showing a little spine? And put up a decent fight. Stop it, I'm telling you, I'm no soldier. I don't want to fight. How nauseating. Why don't you stop grumbling? Leave the gear and run away. Because I can't. It's my gear. For someone who doesn't want to fight, you're quite powerful. How does he know that? Like, I see, an all only environment model, so that's it, huh? No, I want it even more. You just. Bam, you take this. Why it's my what is it? Accuracy Accuracy? <laughs> Accuracy and evasion down. Ooh. Can I look at this? I know I have a special attack on my gear. Brigadier, that's the name of his gear. Oh man. Like whipping my ass. Chaining is whipping. Boom, boom, and take this. Yeah. Again. Please leave my accuracy alone. I want to be able to hit you, guy. Just let's spam the. I think it's usually. The special attacks they don't miss, so even if I lose one turn, oh, 
No, okay. Wood. Oh no, this is not good. No, that's not good. In the heat of battle, I got, I go get caught in quicksand. Darn me of all people. Damn, it's all your fault. I love this trick. Like, <laughs> boy, you're going to get it later. So be darn ready. I love how they like pan the camera and it makes it feels like they're kind of sinking into the sand. Why? Uh, so that that's great. I I didn't notice that before, but like, that's a great trick. Oh boy, we're in a cavern. Hey, come down here now. I'm not gonna kill you. All I want is for you to leave this gear. What? Huh? Hey, you're not an ever soldier? I told you that in my intercom transmission earlier. You're the one who refused to listen to me, right? Ha! <laughs> so sorry, sorry. Yes, I remember you were saying something like that. I went half of cocked and thought you were the enemy. Mm -hmm. My name is Bart. I'm the pirate that works this territory. My name is Faye. I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into the heavy transport ship, and was nearly going to be sent to a concentration camp until you went and blew the things to blazes. Anyway, I'm just glad to have been able to survive. I'm, I'm making it sound like so detached of everything. I see. Well, I'm glad I at least helped you out a little. But I didn't expect a civilian like you would be riding in a military gear. Beside this gear is a brand new model. I've never seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. Where are we anyway? Looks like we fell into one weird place. I've never heard of huge stalactite, stalactite caves such as this existing under the, the desert before. What? You don't know anything, do you? Where are you from? The desert only covers around a, a thousand shards of the outer layer of the earth. The stratum underneath that consists of igneous rock. From a sea of trees to a sea of sand, and now a stalactite cave. What's next? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Never mind. It's not like I'm in a video game or something. We're in trouble. Look, the hole we fell through has disappeared. We'd, we'd better find some other way out. So you wanna call the truth for now? At least until we find an exit and get out of here? Yes, agreed. First, we gotta find a way out of here. So let's get going. It, it sounds so cynical, like when I'm saying these lines. Ooh, thank God, I didn't want to dry up and die up in the desert. Hey, you! I know you're tired, but don't go any further than hit there. Shut up! You sunk our ship. Don't you forget that? No, you shut up. You'll be thankful that you were saved. Oh man, arguments. Uh, excuse me, is there anyone who is almost dead with no arms and legs or in need of an abdominal operation? What the heck? What the heck? No one? Well, that's depressing. This is the nurse there. Well, no, that's the doctor, rather. Which is... Yeah, she's just like a surgeon, rather. Sorry. I see. So your young one has not be just been shooting at anything and everything then, Sigurd? Oh, they know each other. Yes, he actually calculated this attack, or so he says. As you can see, no one has died this time either. That's subordinate. Sigurd, sir, the collection of the goods and soldiers from the Avid transport is almost complete. We still can locate the young master. General Matreya's platoon will scoot around again. Okay, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Since I'm part of the unit, I'll also excuse myself. Well, later. So, what happened to this young one you call Master? You fall into an underground cave with that other guy in a gear. It's near an old excavation site, and he's riding in a gear, so he'll probably be able to come up somehow. We'll try to find him for a while, and if that doesn't work, then we'll wait for him at our meeting point. You seem to trust him a lot. Trust him? Yeah. All trust will get us into trouble. 
But I never thought I would meet you here, Hugh. Man, this guy has like several names and all that. It is not coincidence. It is an inevitable, con inevi inevitable consequence, I assume. Yuga, are you saying something is about to happen? As I said, foreshadowing. <laughs> I just love sitting for just that very reason. And we're in a cave. In a big cave. With gears and a save point, which I'm going to use. And yes, you get to stay with me for all the saving action going on. I could just like spare you the thing, but now you get to see the whole experience. Because that that's that's really how it was when when I when we when I played the game. So where can we go? I'm not really sure. Let's let's just explore. Let's just explore. Shouldn't be too hard. And maybe there's some just like hidden everywhere. And I'm probably going to miss most of them. Okay. Okay, nothing. Is there a way out anywhere? Hello. Oop. Well, let's see what we have as enemies. Oh man, that's so. You, you'll see that. That's pretty funny. Let's kick the butt of this big one first. Yeah, he's probably almost dead. And look at this. That's so ridiculous. Like one damage, and you see how much hit points I have already. But no, this one though. Yeah, it's no, not a threat. Boom! And now you're dead. Like it's just such a stupid, a stupid like hit. Like, bing! let me poke you with my fingers, and you'll you'll just die. No, that doesn't that doesn't do much, Sandman. You're just going to put me to sleep. <laughs> that, that, sorry, that was a bad, that was a bad pun. Man, this one must hurt. Like getting lashed by a giant robot. Like <laughs> that must, that must hurt. Apparently it does since they it kills them. Okay, I'm still over levels compared to my companions, but I mean, what the hell? Hey, Faye, my sins are responding to something. Of course, on the other side. There appears to be quite a large cavern on the other side of, the, of here. Okay. If we can get rid of this rock, but I don't think it's possible. Well, yeah, of course I was going down the wrong direction. Let's go and see that glowing red thing. Ooh, two big robots. Bam, bam, and bam, bam. Ooh, you guarded yourself. Well played, tin robot. I mean, who left those like excavation kind of gears? And bam, you're dead. Yes, you are, and I will sh chain whip you to death. And you're dead. See ya guys. <laughs> Woo! And we leveled up. I'm not taking the <laughs> much time to see what's happening when we level up because that's not that interesting. So I think I need to get up there, right? Yep. Which means I need to get I don't know up where I'm hopping my way. Let's see what this means. Hey, this is huge. What can we do with this? I doubt you can break it. I guess we could try pushing it. Wait, no matter how you look at it. Man, it's moving. It is moving. What the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help! Uh, uh, two big 
robots should be enough to push a big rock away, I think. And see you, rock. We can get by if we help each other. That's the deep message there. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. The hydromechanic pipe for my knee joint is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling, followed by pushing this mega colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my EF malfunctioned in a huge cavern like this. Your friends won't come and help us? It'd be a waste of time waiting. They probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? We believe in a liberal upbringing. Don't think we can escape by ourselves. I wonder if Doc is okay. Don't worry about the man you were with. I'm sure our guys saved him by now. Hmm. What is it? We wouldn't have fallen in, in here if you had only listened to me. Ah, the reproach. Don't blame it on me. You shouldn't. You should have. You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All I wanted was your gear. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. What else was I supposed to do? I thought I might die if I didn't fight you. I was taking it easy on you, couldn't you tell? Then you're a bit dense. Don't lie to me. I know you were serious. What? You want some? Let's have it out right here. They were just talking about... Wait, settling it right here comes first. I won't be able to get anything done until we settle this once and for all. I thought that you wanted the truth for now. Getting out of here should come first. Once we're out of here, then I'll fight you all you want. Let's hurry up and move on out and let's move on out of here. I don't like you very much. Damn it, I'll get you when we get out of here. Yeah right, sure you will, guy. I will just crush you again. I I've seen uh, I've seen a box somewhere. Yeah. There was a box here. Gold nugget. Oh yeah, and that's right. I can I think I can gear um I can equip something like I have an extra armor plus one which is better than what I have. Uh I think the rest I can probably put an extra armor plus one too on this guy and not prevent camera damage, which I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it prevents like accuracy loss or something, but not not positive about this. So where are we? Where Doo -doo -doo. And some more fighting. Yep. We should start. Yeah, crushing the little guys with the. I think it's going to be more more cost efficient because we can. Oh, actually, I could have. Not... Oh man, that that looked dumb. I could have done even better. I wonder if you get the, the levels by attacking the small... Ooh, the small guys. Yeah, you do. So... I could have just like attacked the, the small guys and then used the special attack to directly kill the, the tin robot. But, I mean, that's... That's not bad. It's just strategies for next time we see more of these. So... Yep, leveled up, and you got an extra armor. It's always a nice thing. So, eh, eh. man, so much walking into this thing. I'm going to have another fight. That's for pretty much sure. Because it's so long. It's so long. Oh no, maybe, maybe not then. Maybe it just gets. So, where are we there? I think... I'm just going straight up. Oop! What are you, dude? Have a excavation site. Ooh, site! L number 8. Gear number 3. Let's tell current situation. Sand sensor have detected an abnormal amount of sand. The sand barrier south of the rest stone has been sealed to prevent site sand from entering excavation site. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. 
Maybe it hasn't. And surrounding area info. There is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stone that was built to stop the shifting of sand until the barrier reopens. Please assemble at the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall. Okay, dude. I I'm I'm with you there. Is that Terra Stone? Oh who? We see Who'd have thought it would be someone living in a place like this? Let's check it out. And that's where we are going to end our episode, guys. We're just going to reach that save point. And that's going to be it for today. Can I? Okay, I sure can. Pim. Pim. I'm going to. Whoop. So that's perfectly placed. Just right where I wanted it. Whoop. Can you manage to check the memory cards there? So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Xenogears and where we met Bart, the new the Pirate the Sand Pirate. And next time we will have a pretty interesting interesting discussion in that little cave. You'll see, you'll see. I I can't wait already. But well, once again this was Grungy yours for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you around.